Hey, did you come to a YouTube video to learn how to make the best white chicken chili in the world? Well then stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Javier Mercedes for another Merce Meal Monday. Or maybe it's Wednesday. Is it an interview? Is it a meal? Is it this? Is it that? Is it baseball bat? Am I in the back? Am I in the, am I in the front? Is it salsa eyes? Is it a bat? Cool beans. <laughs> Let's get it. What are we doing today, Emily? We're making my grandma's white chili and drinking champagne. What? Why would we be drinking champagne? Because my most recent art print is a champagne bottle series. This art print is super rad because you can get it all in one print or get individual bottles if you have a very favorite, if you're celebrating something or if you have, I don't know, a hankering to drink champagne and look at champagne art. This one's for you. That's the one that looks the coolest and it's in all the rap videos. Give us the backstory behind the white chicken chili. My parents actually gave me this book and it was put together by a bunch of cute little old ladies in Murray, Kentucky. And I landed on this white chili with a kick and completely found out later that it was actually my grandma's recipe. Whoa, 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 whoa. It, I thought this was just like a thing, but no, it literally says the name right by the recipe. Yeah, awesome. Claire Russick. So I didn't know until after the fact that it was my grandma's recipe. Let's get to it. All right. Step one. Prep the chicken. Chicken breast. Some cilantro, garlic, an entire thing of salsa. Are you gonna cut it into even smaller chunks after it's done cooking? Yep, more like bite-sized pieces before I put it into the pot with the rest of the chili. But that's after it cooks in the oven? Uh-huh. Just kind of stab the chicken. <laughs> so, oh, so you, you cook, at least the chicken is cooking with the salsa. Yeah, and then you add another one to the batch of chili too. Some cilantro. Make <laughs> it until it's cooked, folks. <laughs> the recipe calls for six cups, but I usually do one larger Swanson chicken broth and then a medium sized one. This will just be to get the flavors melding together for a little while. Medium heat is cool. <laughs> Toward the end, I add all the dairy stuff and that, to be Make honest, will give you some gas. <laughs> so we're gonna add another giant can of salsa. You can choose whatever you want. If you like it a little milder, do not choose hot. I'm gonna put the beans in there too. With all of the stuff that the beans have been sitting in, like the watery beany goodness. So two cans. Two cans of whatever beans. So this is two large yellow onions and one serrano pepper. I'm gonna leave a little bit off because some of the seeds are in there, which obviously makes it hotter. After a few minutes, we'll add the garlic for another minute or two and then plop it into the pot. So adding in the garlic. Add in the garlic and actually, oh, that's perfect. This is definitely not gonna be ready yet, but let's see what we're working with. It's gonna be a little while. I like to get a giant block of Monterey Jack cheese. I add the cheese in and the sour cream toward the end and that's pretty much what makes the white chili white. It's kind of pinkish to be honest because there's salsa in there. And then we'll get sour cream in there. Look at how it just gets thick. Thick with amazingness. Okay, so I'm gonna just get the garnish ready. Shredded cheese, some sour cream, a little bit of onion and cilantro for a piece. So I really loved your taco video that you did on YouTube the other day because I feel like uh, I see that you like hey, bourbon. I do. Well, so do I. Bam! Is it upside down? <laughs> so, what's going on in this piece, Emily? Can you, can you tell us? 15 bottles of bourbon. <laughs> Brian, Brian, can you tell us what's going on in this piece? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great bottles of bourbon. We've got uh, Booker's, we've got Buffalo Trace, we've got Woodford, we've got Blanton's. It's the onions. But it's all good. You can get them in <laughs> the collection or you can get individual bottles. EmilyMercedes.com. Bing! How's it taste? Ooh, really good. There's a good amount of heat, which is what I was hoping for. Okay, we're gonna add the chicken into the rest of the chili and let it simmer for a while. 
is it harder than what it will be when you like eat it in the actual chili? Yeah, I mean, ideally it would have been um, more, like I said earlier, folly a party because I'm gonna just make up words now. It would have fallen apart a little bit easier if we had cooked it um, lower for longer, lower temperature for longer. Not on this YouTube game. No, we like to do fast motion chili. It's a nice pot of chili. I'm just gonna go right in. Garlic bread. Good, 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 good garlic bread. Garlic bread. All right, it is 9.26. It looks like it's starting to boil just a little bit. Emily, is there anything that you like to do while it's finishing up? Well, funny you ask. I like to paint when I'm finishing up my chili. But seriously, spoiler alert, I'm working on another whiskey series. Shh, tell everybody. Are you purchased by it? So our garlic bread has been garlic -ed. How is it looking? Do you know? pretty dang good. And it's all come down to this moment of eating this amazingness. So what I like to do with this chili is I just like to go you know. balls to the wall and I just take the garlic bread and I just put it straight in the bottom of the bowl and then I just go. I use I use the bread as a, as a condiment. As a condiment. Drizzle. Drizzle. Whatever a version of drizzle but a little bit more. Sour cream. Okay, so the moment of truth. Well, that's really close, but maybe not that close. Mm. This white chicken chili is so good. So I suggest that you should do it on your own time because, like, literally, it's so good. So good. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I do cooking videos. I do tutorials about Premiere Pro. I know they don't really make sense together, but those are the things I'm passionate about. And I also do vlogs. So if you like filming things or cooking things, or learning how to film cooking things, then you can follow my channel and subscribe. But more importantly, check out this art. It's really cool. Emily Mercedes. You can find her at said places like... EmilyMercedes.com if you want to buy prints um, or originals. There's some available still. And Emily Mercedes Art is my Instagram. Thank you so much. And this chili is not only the com.bomb, but amazingness in a bowl. Like literally, it tastes so good. So, so good. good. So, so good. good. So, so good. good. So good. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>